Has your dog bitten you? There are many reasons why this behavior can be triggered, some of which may or may not be involuntary. We explain why dogs bite in this animal-wise video. Fear. A frightened dog, one that feels threatened, or one which feels cornered, may resort to biting as a strategy to scare away another individual. Dogs can acquire fears as a result of poor socialization, a traumatic experience, or a punishment-based education, among others. It's common for such a dog to bite when being scolded. Pain. A dog that is in a lot of pain may bite their guardian if they are annoyed or mishandled, even though they don't actually want to cause harm. When we observe an obvious change in our dog's attitude or the sudden appearance of aggressive behaviours, it's recommended to first carry out a veterinary checkup to rule out the animal suffering from some painful process. Frustration and stress. Frustration can arise in the dog for various reasons, such as not being allowed to exercise typical canine behaviours, when they are educated incorrectly, or when they are unable to communicate effectively with other individuals due to a lack of socialisation. All these situations and many others can cause an emotional problem in the dog. This can generate impulsive and intense behaviours such as aggression. A large part of the aggression dogs direct towards their guardians is produced by not knowing or not respecting canine communication. Although your dog has no intention of harming you, when their signals of discomfort are ignored or misinterpreted, they may feel they have no choice but to growl, mark or bite to be understood. Discover what your dog is trying to communicate to you with the first info video above. Defense. A dog doesn't always bite offensively. There is also the possibility the animal is simply defending themselves from a potential threat from which they cannot escape. For example, this can happen when the dog thinks another dog or person intends to attack them. Aggression. Of course, a dog can also bite because they are aggressive in certain contexts or towards certain individuals. Aggression has both genetic and environmental components, so there are many factors that must be taken into account when determining the degree of aggression in an animal. If you like Animal Wise, remember that a super thanks can help us continue creating the content you enjoy. Play. All dogs play by biting each other, usually a completely normal behavior. Puppies learn a lot by playing and exploring with their mouths. The fact they do so does not imply they are developing an aggressive character. What you must do to prevent your puppy or adult dog from hurting you while playing is to teach them to inhibit their bite and to follow a different dynamic of play when they interact with people. Our next info video above explains how to teach a puppy to play without biting. Protection of resources. This happens when a dog actively protects a resource that is of great value to them. This can include food or toys, especially if they think another individual might take them away. When someone approaches such a resource, the animal can growl, bark and even bite as a warning signal. Often it's the tutor themselves who unconsciously cause the problem of resource protection in their dog as a consequence of using erroneous or outdated training methodologies. If your dog has bitten you around their food, it's likely due to resource protection. It's important to work on this to prevent the situation from getting worse. Reflex reaction. Sometimes dogs bite involuntarily as a result of a reflex action. In this case, the animal usually snaps when they are scared or surprised. For example, if your dog is sleeping and you approach them suddenly, they may be startled and react automatically. In this case, your dog has accidentally bitten you. The more sensitive and impulsive the animal in general, the more likely they are to behave in this way. If you want to continue learning about dog behavior, don't miss the playlist we share here. Let us know if you have experience of your dog biting you and what was done about it. We'll see you next time.